This should be easy so, enough. Uh, you think there's an apothecary around here somewhere? Uh, you could say that. Right. Uh, look, for the past few days, I've had this burning rash. The skin's actually got a sort of greenish look to it. I didn't touch anything. You know, I bet it's that Grey Warden stuff we had to drink. I'm special. Yeah, I'll just see if I can't find some nice minty balm somewhere in this town. Oh, it's you. You've a funny way of turning up where you're not wanted, don't you? Like a bad rash. I am here making preparations for a journey. The College of the Magi is convening in Cumberland, and I must attend. Hopefully, all this will blow over before it's begun. But you have enough on your mind as it is. I shan't trouble you with this further. Very well. Then perhaps you should know that something stirs within the fraternities. The Libertarians wish to pull away entirely from the Chantry. And if they get enough support... Pull away entirely? That's madness. I hate Chantry oversight as much as the next mage, but they can't just decide to leave. This is a recipe for disaster. The mages will never be free. The Chantry would never allow it. Our only hope for survival is to show them we can be trusted. Don't you remember what happened to the Circle in Ferelden? Do you want to give the Templars another excuse to call for the culling of all mages? This change cannot be forced. Because the only other option results in genocide. Now, I have a great many preparations to make before I leave for Navarra. But perhaps there is something you can do for me. One of my colleagues, Ines, has spent the last few months in the Wending Wood. The Circle has been unable to reach her, given the trouble in the area. If you happen to find yourself in the wood, on your travels, perhaps you could tell her about the meeting of the college. Oh, who knows, rooting around in the dirt for some obscure plant or other, most likely. She has a keen interest in gardening. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant botany. Hobbies and eccentricities aside, Ines is a well-respected mage and a voice of reason, something we could use on our side. But I can't waste any more time. Good luck to you, Warden Commander. May I help you? I am fortunate indeed that the Commander of the Grey has taken a personal interest in this matter. I'm sorry our note was vague, but Amaranthine is a hotbed of Maleficar activity. Details of who and what they were about would undoubtedly get back to them. Apostates and Maleficarum are all too common across the nation, alas. I have worked with an artist to create these sketches of the three suspects. If you could confront them and question them, you would be doing the Maker's work. It's not like Karam to be gone this long now. I was sure I would find him at the inn.
About time you showed up. Nemea, you're still here. I keep my promises. Here, turns out you were right. The cache is here in Amaranthine. It is? You, you found it? I did. What you do with that information is up to you. I for one am done dealing with mages. Uh, I guess I should thank you. <laughs> Damned right you should. You get caught, Anders? I'm not helping you again. That's all I'm saying. I uh, suppose that requires some explanation. She's normally more welcoming than that. A lot more. Nemea is a friend. Last time I escaped from the tower, I asked her to look into some things. That's why I was in Amaranthine. The Templars thought I'd come to take a ship, but it was to meet her. During the Blight, the Templars moved their store of phylacteries to Amaranthine for safety. My phylactery is among them, Nemea learned. So long as the Templars have that sample of my blood, they can find me. I need to destroy it. What's to stop the Chantry from deciding mages and the Grey Wardens are apostates too? I want to be sure they can't ever find me again. Ever. Why? Because I'll become a Malifica. Because apostates are so dangerous. It's all hysteria that Chantry uses to keep magic under its thumb. I want out. It is. It really is. I know we're busy killing Darkspawn and all, but the sooner we find this vial, the better I'll feel. Should we get a move on?
shall be mine. Is it just me, or do you actually think you have a chance? <laughs> That's where the phylacteries are. Probably guarded. Right. No guards. Maybe they don't want to draw attention to the cash. Couldn't be that lucky. This should be easy enough. And here I almost believed the infamous Anders wouldn't take the bait. Ha! Ah, yes. I suppose I should have known it would be you. You made a poor choice with this one, Commander. Anders will never submit. Not to us and not to you. So far, yes. I'll make sure that this murderer is never a bother to anyone again. What? No, you can't arrest me! King Alistair allowed my conscription. The Chantra's authority supersedes the Crown in this matter. You cannot hide within the Grey Warden's ranks. Hardly surprising. The Grey Wardens have ever been a haven for criminals and Maleficar. I do not know how you inspire such loyalty, Anders. But it will avail you naught. Now you come with us. <laughs> I wonder if Nemea knew about this. I guess it doesn't really matter. Thank you. You stood by me, and I appreciate that. I guess they do. Anyhow, let's go before someone else rushes in to waggle a finger at us. You're standing in my dirt. No, of course not. I'm just scowling at you because I'm a cantankerous old lady. That dirt was specially prepared for my plants. I only have to find the seeds now. It's just a matter of time, I'm sure. You've heard of me then? Read one of my books, have you? Win. What now? She's not going to try to get me to teach slack-jawed apprentices again, is she? She used to pester Aldred about his duty to the apprentices, when he just wanted to be left alone. No wonder he went crazy and tried to kill everyone. Uh-huh. So I have to drop everything and do what Wynne wants me to do. Hmm, it's been some time since the college was called together. Why now? No, I can't go. Not yet. I'm not leaving till I get the seeds of the northern prickleweed. I've been here too long just to give up. 
Hmm, I suppose another pair of eyes wouldn't hurt. And if you actually succeed, I'm sure I could scrounge up some kind of reward. You're looking for the seeds of a northern prickleweed. The plant has broad, dark green leaves with thorny stems and is most commonly found growing on rocky ground. Go on now. If I'm going to be travelling, I'll need to make preparations. On. Any luck? Did you find any northern prickleweed? Marvellous! Look at them! Oh, magnificent! Such a smooth seed coat. Like onyx. You, my friend, are a worker of miracles. Here, I whipped up some herbal remedies for you, and a list of instructions so you can recreate them if you like. And now it's time for me to leave. Perhaps our paths will cross again at a later date. Good luck! <laughs>